Hey everyone, welcome back to the Six Solutions YouTube channel. Uh, we're into February now and we had a pretty decent day other than being cold here in Northeast Ohio. So I figured I would go out to the range because I had some free time from work and finally do some live fire drills. I pretty much dry fire every single day down here in my basement. And I figured it was time to get out there since we have matches that are gonna be starting here in the middle of March weather dependent obviously and I wanted to just get out there and get some trigger time you know live fire obviously is always better than dry firing but you know dry firing is something that we can do and do uh, for a obviously very affordable price down in our basement and I'll show you guys that setup uh, in another video at some point but one thing I wanted to cover today is kind of the things I do when I get back home and one thing very specifically that I did notice and I wanted to bring to everyone's attention is check your magazines especially I have a set of drill magazines and a set of match magazines and this one specifically I noticed today that the follower is actually damaged on this magazine and I ended up going in and looking at it I'm not sure if you can quite see it here but there's actually broken the whole side of the follower has come off and it was down loose inside the body of the magazine so i'm going to go ahead and order a replacement for this one uh, i use the grams follower and spring the nice thing about that is you can get a 23 plus one in the magazine here so uh, i'm going to go ahead and order those i'm sure you can get them other places i get them from the ben stoger pro shop get those in just make sure all my gears tuned up and ready to go for this 2023 season one of the things i do after every single range session is i'm going to come back and just gonna wipe this gun down. I don't give it any sort of like full cleaning uh, while I have it out. I, if I just go to the range session, I only shot about 200 rounds today. So I don't do anything too crazy. Um, I usually just break it down uh, to this this far. And then uh, I have been using the these Breakthrough Technologies Quick Wipes. I really like them. I think they're, uh, I think they're a great product. I carry them in my range bag as well, but at home here I use a you know, a larger quantity, larger quantity in the big tube there instead of like a little single serve pack, which I don't know if I have any over here that I can show you. But what I basically do with this is it's nice because it's a CLP, so clean lube, protect, clean down all the rails and everything, try to get the inside as best I can. I usually don't like dismount too much stuff. There's not a whole lot that has to go on. These guns are, you know, very reliable and, uh, I clean the, I'll usually clean the barrel before matches, but just after a drill session, I usually just wipe the whole thing down. Really straightforward, get the top rails of the FCU here. This gun's, I mean, it's really clean. I shoot, uh, I'm not set up for reloading, so I shoot the Federal TSJ um, Syntec 150s, and they're really nice because they essentially don't follow the barrel at all, and they burn very clean, so I've had really good luck with that. That's literally, all I do right there and then I'll go put this back in the Galatech and the she'll be there ready to go for the next time one of the other things I'd like to do after a range day is like I said I have match magazines and I have uh, I have drill magazines and one of the big things I do is I just take like that wipe that I have the breakthrough quick wipe and I always just wipe these magazines down I've disassembled these because it was a little dirty out there earlier so I didn't take a quick wipe out uh, to clean them but I did take them and I did take I do take them apart and brush them I pretty much do that every time I'm the mag a magazine hits the ground uh especially at a match not so much on a drill day but at a match because the last thing I want is some sort of dirt or something to come in and you know be introduced to the inside here and cause a problem honestly that's probably what happened that ended up breaking uh that follower in that other magazine so Thanks for stopping by guys. I uh, hope I can create some more content. I got big plans. Uh, I got a new cart coming uh, that I'm gonna have a setup for, so I'll do a great video on that. And, and that's a wrap for a little bit of a real quick, how I spend about 10, 15 minutes and put everything back together uh, down here after a good range session. Uh, if you guys stick around or have any comments, uh, I'd appreciate it if you like and describe. I'm gonna try to grow this channel. I have a lot of big plans for the matches that I'm gonna be shooting this year I wanna be able to do third person and also have a first person camera set up so I can bring you video of all those matches. And then uh, probably in another, in another video, I'll do a nice little tour uh, of what I got set up down here. Kind of, I got a nice shelving system that I keep everything stored and I got a nice you know cleaning area where I have everything. And I got the Galatech over here. So um, 
stick around. I'd appreciate it. Like I said, give it a like and a subscribe, tell your friends, and I'd like to be able to create a lot of great content for you guys in the future. So thanks for stopping by.